In this video, I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can make a remix or DJ edit inside of Serato Studio by taking a mid-tempo song and turning it into a more up-tempo, DJ-friendly groove. First off, let's start by adding a song that we want to remix. Go down to the library, locate the song, and drag and drop it into the audio deck to load it. Loading a song will analyze its BPM and key, which is what Serato Studio will use for the project. The song is 92 BPM, but we want it to be a little bit faster. So let's adjust the project BPM by clicking and dragging up the arrow. Now we've loaded our remix track. We've set the project BPM and we're ready to go. Now it's your turn. So we've loaded up the song that we want to use. Now let's find parts of the song that we want to use for our remix so we can chop it up and arrange it how we like. By default, a cue point should be set at the first detected downbeat in the song. We can automatically set cue points by using the slicer feature. This will slice up the song into sections according to the size that you have selected. But we're just going to add our own cue points manually to place it where we want. This is usually the start of the song, the start of a verse, or the start of a chorus. You can see that I'm clicking and dragging on the waveform to set my playhead in the place that I want to set my cue points. You can set cue points by using letters or numbers on your computer keyboard, using MIDI hardware, or just clicking on the pad itself. An easy way to navigate around the song is to click on the overview, which jumps you around different parts of the track. This is also a good way of seeing where the different parts of the song actually are. Now it's your turn. Have a go at manually setting cue points at different parts of the track that you want to use for your remix. Now we're ready to start arranging our remix by using clips that we've made. We're going to start by using our first audio clip to create an extended intro. First, let's delete the whole song from the timeline and then drag the clip down to replace it. The whole file will appear, but we want to shorten it by just a few bars. We can do that by placing the cursor at the end of the file and then dragging it down to the length that we want, or by right-clicking on the file where we want it to end and then selecting Split Clip to then delete the unwanted part. We can then duplicate the shortened clip by selecting it and then pressing Command D on a Mac or Command D on Windows. Now we've got our intro. So let's add another clip where the horn starts and let that play for four bars. As long as our cue points are set on beat, adding a clip to another clip should be in perfect time. I'm going to add in another horn clip after this for a bit of variety. I can just drag and drop this new clip on top of the existing one to cut it short. And just like last time, I'm going to shorten the clip by dragging it in from the right where I want it. Now I'm going to repeat the process by adding in a final clip. And just like that, we've got our basic song structure in place. Now you give it a go. With our audio clips arranged in the song structure that we like, we can add drums by programming a beat with the drum deck. This is done in the scene player. Scenes are where we can use drum kits, samples, and instruments to build our song in blocks of sequences and patterns. Serato Studio comes with loads of drum kits to choose from. Go to the drum tabs in the library and select the all drum kit crate. I'm gonna use the EDM drum kit for this session. After loading in the drum deck, I'm going to increase the scene size to double the pattern length. 
You can paint notes into the sequencer by clicking notes where you want them to appear. You can also record drums by clicking the record button and triggering them in. But instead, I'm going to click on make beats until I find a beat that I like. Now with a good drum pattern, let's add some effects to the drums. Click on the Effects tab to show the Effects panel. There are two effects units. The effects on the left apply to the individual sound selected while the right one applies to the whole drum deck. Here, I'm going to add in a drum reverb effect. This will help the drum sound bigger. And I'm going to add a bit more groove to the drums, so I'll adjust the swing to 20%. Now we've added in a simple drum pattern that we're going to use for our remix. Now you give it a go. We can add variation to our drums to make it more interesting and change throughout the song. We'll do this by adding more scenes. Let's create a new scene by copying the first scene. Now I'm going to remove all the closed hi-hats from the new sequence by right-clicking on the sample and choosing Clear Row. I'm also going to add a snare on top of the claps. This will create a scene with slight variation. Now I'm going to select the snare and add some delay. I'll set my effect beat timing to 3 fourths and turn the delay up. This is going to add a little bit more swing and character to the drums. Open up the song view and drag and drop your scenes onto the scene track to start laying them out. I'm going to start with the more simple pattern and then move the pattern that has the hi-hats. Also notice I'm adjusting the volume of the drum deck. That's because it's a little too high in the mix. Copying scenes and changing them up a little bit will add variety and depth to your beats. Now you give it a go. So we now have an audio track with clips from the track that we're remixing. As well, we have a scene track with two different scenes containing two different drum patterns. Now we want to make the drums more prominent in the track to make it gel with the sample a bit better. To do this, I'm going to add on a hard sidechain effect to the audio track. Now press the sidechain input and choose the EDM drum kit and select the kick. In general, when you're using the hard sidechain effect, the kick will already be selected. Adjust the level of the sidechain until you're happy. We can hear that it's giving the track a pumping effect. Now it's time to add some effects to the master track to make it all come together. In the master channel, we can use the effects preset, brightener EQ, master compression, and limiter in different amounts to give the track a bit more polished sound. We can also adjust the project key and project BPM to give the track a completely different feel and mood. Once we're happy with our remix, we can click Export Song to save it as a single WAV file, MP3, or even as stems. Once you have the file exported, you can close Serato Studio, open up Serato DJ Pro, and import the song into a crate to play it in a DJ set. Now you give it a go.